Grandmama, this looks like a conflagration. <laughs> How do you say that word? I'm on, not sure. On your table. Uh, what in the world? Conglomeration. That's yeah. what you mean. <laughs> what Today, in the world? I am going to make some gluten-free checks mix. Everything you buy in the store, even the uh, the original uh, recipe, has the bagel chips in it, which has wheat. It has the pretzels, which has wheat. So today I'm trying to do it gluten free, and uh, and it's going to be just as good. So, uh, and hello, I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and it's good to be back in my kitchen. For y'all of you that, for all of you that watched my last video, I was in Boston, New England, with both my grandsons, my daughter. Liz, uh, my grandson's wife, Addie, Hudson, their two children, Corey. So we just had a wonderful time. Uh, we got back home. We've rested up. And so uh, we're getting ready for a little snack. And so I just thought I would make some Chex Mix because I can't eat the sweets, a lot of the sweet things, but I can eat the salty gluten-free. So we're going to, and we're going to do it in the microwave. It's been a couple of years since I've made this, and I always did it in the oven. Well, when I looked at the back of the Chex Mix, they said microwave. And I thought, wow, that's going to be easy. So it gives you the, the oven, the way you can do it in the oven also, but it gives you the microwave way. And I'm going to do it in the microwave today. And I've got six tablespoons of butter right here. I'm going to move this out of the way for a minute. And to this butter, now this is Worcestershire sauce. Always shake your Worcestershire sauce really well because all the sediments settle to the bottom and uh, and you don't get all the goody. So, and it calls for two tablespoons of Worcestershire. So we're going to put that in. And all I'm using today, I'm not using the wheat checks. I'm only using the rice checks and the corn checks because they don't have gluten in them and when i was at the grocery store i found something else because i was looking for things that i could put in it uh, to substitute for the bagel chips and the uh, pretzels and so i found these they're called poppables and they're made with sea salt i think and i read on the back it doesn't say gluten free on the package but I read on the back and there's no gluten in it. So I'm going to use a few of those. So in our butter, that was two tablespoons of Worcestershire. And now one and a half teaspoons of seasoned salt. And I just use Morton's or Lowry's, whichever one you prefer. So that's one and a half teaspoons of that. And it is uh, three quarters teaspoons of garlic. But I'm going to put a whole teaspoon because we like garlic. So I'm just going to put a whole teaspoon. And it calls for a um, half teaspoon of onion powder. So, And that's just kind of like a heaping teaspoon. All right. Now I'm going to stir this up. And this is the coating that's going to coat all of your... Uh, your Chex Mix and your nuts. Okay, get my bowl. Now, that's my mixture that I'm gonna coat it with. I have three cups of corn Chex, three cups of rice Chex. I have, and I'm going to put two cups of the poppers uh, in it. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And if you can see them, they're called poppers because they just, they have air in them. They're just little, little snacks. So I'm going to stir that up really well. Now to that, I'm going to add two cups of peanuts. And this, this happens to be salted peanuts. And the recipe, original recipe, calls for mixed nuts, but I didn't have mixed nuts, so I'm making my own mixed nuts. That's peanuts, um, Brazil nuts, and pecans. So that's three cups all together of my nuts. 
And my uh, Brazil nuts were kind of big, so I cut them in half. And the ones that I, I didn't get them all. But uh, because most people, when they're eating a snack, they don't want a big Brazil nut. Okay. Now, I'm going to pour my mixture over this. Like that. And I'm just going to mix it up. And my hands are clean. Y'all know I, I keep clean hands. So this is usually what I do. I get in here with my hands because I want to feel that coating on all of these, uh, on all the mixes, the check mix and everything. And it, you only have to do this five or six minutes in the microwave. So. But every two minutes, you take it out and you stir it. You toss it around. All right. Wipe my hands. I'm going to put this in the microwave for two minutes. Whoop! Uh-oh. That's a mess. I'm going to put it in the microwave for two minutes, and I'm going to take it out and stir it. I'm going to put it in for two more minutes, take it out and stir it. So when it gets ready, we'll come back. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. How's right. it looking, Grandma? It's looking good. All right. It has been on four minutes, and I stirred it after two minutes. And I'm fixing to stir it. I'm fixing to put it back in the microwave for two more minutes. Well, and it's tasting good because I sleep the, <laughs> sneak the, a sample. He always sneaks a sample. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for two more minutes, and then when it comes out, I'm going to put it on a baking sheet. And spread it out and let it cool and dry and then it will be ready for us to eat but we'll taste of it when I take it out this next time so uh, we'll be right back all right can I start eating it <laughs> well we've already nibbled some <clears throat> it's re it's really good the seasoning is really really good so I'm just going to put it out on my baking tray and spread it out and I'm going to let it dry. Just let it sit here for an hour or so. But it's really, the seasoning is spot on. It is really, really good. It is. I'm going to taste one of these nuts. If they, if they don't get crispy enough, you can always finish it off in the oven, can't you? If for some reason... <clears throat> It's not as crisp as you want it. Slide it in the oven on 250 for like 20 minutes. But I think I think when it cools off and dries, it's going to be perfect. But if you want your, if your pecans are not roasted, roast them a little, probably three or four minutes before you put them in. And then my peanuts were roasted, but my pecans and my Brazil nuts were not. But that's fine with us because we like them like that. So but, that's just up to your taste. Yeah, just okay. up to your taste. So if you want your, uh, and probably, now these are pecans we got out of the yard. So mm -hmm. if I had wanted them roasted, I just roasted them in the oven or on top, on the stove top for three or four minutes. And the same way that with the Brazil nuts. When I buy Brazil nuts, I buy them raw. And, um, uh, so if I had wanted them roasted, I would just put my pecans and my Brazil nuts in a pan on top of the stove for three or four minutes or in the oven for three or four minutes before I mix them in my mixture. But that's just up to you, ever how you like it. So this is just a really short video, but this is a delicious, delicious snack. So how about during the Christmas holidays when company comes, when you're just sitting around at night, you want something to nibble on. And this is totally gluten-free right here. So it's just an alternative to using your bagel chips and your pretzels. There are things out there that you can get that are just as good as the bagel. Now, I love bagel chips. Don't get me wrong. I did love bagel chips. But this is just as good a mixture. So I hope y'all try this during the holidays and try it in the microwave. It works real well. And it's a lot, lot quicker. Thank you all for joining me today and hit that little notification bell.
I love y'all. And remember, you can put delicious, deliciousness back in healthy food. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. See y'all next time.